Clomid is often the first treatment given to couples with infertility. What if you've tried Clomid and you still didn't conceive? What are other treatment options after Clomid? First and most importantly, I hope that your doctor has completed some basic infertility tests on you and your partner. If she did not, then that is definitely your next step. At a minimum, the female partner should have a hysterosalpingogram to ensure that the uterus is normal and that the fallopian tubes are open. She should also have an ultrasound to look for abnormalities in the uterus and ovaries and blood tests to check for ovulation, ovarian reserve, thyroid function, evidence for infections, inflammation, and vitamin D deficiency. Male partners should have a semen evaluation. If abnormalities are found on your testing, there may be additional testing that is needed and there may be other treatments that may be appropriate for your case. If both of your fallopian tubes were blocked, then there was no chance that the Clomid was going to work. It is reasonable to continue with more Clomid cycles after opening the tubes. If you found that your partner had no sperm on his semen analysis, again, there was no chance that the Clomid could have worked. Further treatments would be based on whether sperm can be found or produced in your partner. Let's say you've had testing and everything looked normal or the problems that you have found have been corrected. How many times is it reasonable to continue taking Clomid? I covered that in this episode. If you and your doctor, however, have made the decision to move on from Clomid, what are some of the other treatment options you can consider? One option is to switch from Clomid to a different fertility medication. There are a group of medications called gonadotropins, which are administered by daily injections. Like Clomid, these medications are designed to induce ovulation or, in people who already ovulate, to get multiple eggs to develop. Like Clomid, Couples can attempt pregnancy with intercourse or intrauterine insemination, IUI, or both. Generally speaking, injections will result in a higher percentage of couples getting pregnant each month. That's good. Unfortunately, the risk for multiple pregnancy is higher. That's bad. Multiple pregnancies are higher risk pregnancies with more poor outcomes for both mom and baby. Another option after Clomid failure is to perform more extensive diagnostic testing. For example, there are two types of problems that could be lowering your chance for pregnancy that may not have shown up on the basic testing I discussed earlier, endometriosis and scar tissue. Endometriosis is when the tissue, which normally grows inside of the uterus, instead grows outside. It can occasionally be diagnosed on ultrasound if it produces a type of cyst in your ovaries known as an endometrioma. Scar tissue is abnormal tissue which develops in the abdomen or pelvis. Scar tissue can cause infertility if it makes it more difficult for the egg to get into the fallopian tube at the time of ovulation. The only way to currently diagnose endometriosis or scar tissue with certainty is to look inside the abdomen with a surgical procedure. The most common procedure is called laparoscopy. In addition to being able to diagnose these problems, laparoscopy also enables the doctor to try to remove them. Last but not least, a third option after Clomid failure is IVF. The pregnancy rates with IVF are typically higher than with any other treatment. IVF also works well even if you have endometriosis or scar tissue. So if you are worried that you may have those problems but aren't really excited about having a laparoscopy, IVF gives you a way to become pregnant without having to do surgery. IVF also works well even when your partner may have very poor sperm or when your fallopian tubes are blocked. Other advantages of IVF are the ability to test embryos for abnormalities and reduce the risk for having a multiple pregnancy. Our Infertility TV bottom line is that there are a number of treatment options that are available if Clomid didn't work for you. Each option has pros and cons. The next step is not going to be the same for every patient. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.